Hello, my name is Joe from Scoof, and today we're going to make cafetiere coffee. Cafetiers are a simple way of making high quality coffee. I'm going to be using a standard cafetiere, and that has uh, one litre in capacity or eight espresso cups. I'm also going to be making the coffee from beans, but you could use ground coffee just as easily. The first step is to boil the kettle, because that will take longer than the whole process of making the coffee. Then you take the beans, put them into the grinder, put the lid on the and grind them down into a coarse brown coffee powder. Just have a look to see how it is. Need a bit more. And after that, you simply add the desired amount of the coffee. Now I like four scoops in my cafetiere, but you may want a little bit more or a little bit less. You just experiment to taste. So we're waiting for the kettle to boil. Once the kettle is boiled, we can pour the boiling water over the coffee. One important tip to remember is boiling water actually scorches the coffee. So it's best to wait for 30 seconds, something like that, just to allow the water to cool just enough so the coffee doesn't get scorched. There we go, bubbling away nicely. And there we have our boiling water. And we just let it rest until it cools off slightly. And making the coffee, it's a process of steeping coffee in hot water. And to do that, you need a bit of time and also you need to stir it. Now, I've got a scoof, which is a good utensil for stirring the coffee. I've waited about 30 seconds there. Pour in the boiling water. And then give it a stir. It's just a simple push down. And to get a good steeped coffee demands a very short wait of about four minutes. And after about four minutes, the coffee is brewed and you're ready to plunge. Making sure that the opening on the cap there is going the right way, so it pours without spilling. And keep one hand on the cafetiere so it doesn't topple when you plunge. And then you're ready. So we've got a couple of mugs there. And I'll pour out the coffee. And the second one. The 
finished. High quality coffee and it's a very simple way of making it. Once you've finished your coffee, after that you've got a cafetiere with some coffee and some coffee grounds in it. And then comes the less enjoyable part of the process is what are you going to do with it next? In my household, the cafetiere always gets left because it's a bit messy to clean out. Once you've poured off the excess coffee, take out the plunger, tap into the food waste bin, and then you can use SCOOF, which is a specially designed utensil which makes cleaning cafetiers easy. Insert the scoop and you'll see there are two blades and they, as they turn, they scoop up the coffee in a simple twisting motion. So insert and twist and lift out the coffee and tap into the food waste and then with a second go, twist and lift out, and tap into the food waste, and then you've only got 5%, a very small amount of coffee left, and you can use the scoof to rake it into the food waste bin, tap the scoof, and cleaning the rest out is simply a question of rinsing it down the sink. Put a bit of water in the cafetiere. Use the scoop to agitate the water up and down. Tip out. And then your cafetiere is clean and ready to be washed up or simply put it in the dishwasher. along with the scoop and the plunger. Scoop makes cafetiers make sense.